bread and peace of the Lord. I invite you to stand up. And we are going to read Joel, Prophet Joel, chapter 2, verse 1. Joel, the prophet, chapter 2, verse 1. Joel 2, 1 says as follows. After Daniel to help you find it. Hosea, Ezekiel, then you're going to find Joel. Chapter 2, verse 1. We're going to read together. For this is the pleading of the church, a shout. And this is the mission, an orientation from the Lord for the faithful church. Read, let's read. Blow the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. For it is a hand. Amen. The church may be seated. Blow the trumpet, blow the, blow the horn in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming, for it is a hand. Brethren, the word of God for tonight is directly for the faithful church. As for the church has a mission before the mankind. When the church was established back when the Pentecost happened, when the church was prepared, right after, in the morning, by the third hour, about 9 a.m. in Israel, 9 a.m. is like the third hour in our time zone, the church left with a mission for the world. And this mission is or was to announce Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus was resurrected and he was alive inside the mankind heart and he promised to come back to rescue his church. Now as the church of the last days we also had a mission. We also have a mission, a message and the message is exactly Jesus will come. The time of soon that we are living, we cannot lose this mission from the Lord. We cannot ignore it. Now, how to do that? How to develop this work? The instruction is here. Blow the trumpet. We have learned that Israel used and is still using the horn as a, an instrument, a tool of communication. In Hebrew they call shofar. How the shofar is made? We're gonna like give a quick explanation about it. To make the shofar there was a technique. First off the the lamb, the, the ram needs to be sacrificed. So when the ram was sacrificed, his horns were used and the process will start. First, should be taken to the fire. So when you take the horn to the fire, 
a, a cleaning was done. Nothing within, nothing inside. So not even one residue of flesh. Nothing can be there. That's why they use fire. And the fire also was a way to mold, to change the shape of it. After that, the horn was taken to a handcraftsman process of cleanliness and polishing. And of course, it was made a hole at the tip of it from where someone will be blowing to produce the sound of it. So the first detail, the, the ram being sacrificed, talk about Jesus, talks about Jesus. Abraham was about to sacrifice his son by God's request. Everything was ready. Abraham has the knife at his hand. Isaac was laid down upon the wood, on top of the wood. And there was a shout, do not do that, Abraham, for as I see your faithfulness. So he was so fearful to God. So when God noticed that he would not back, out, back up, so they shout, do not do that, Abraham. Now he looked sideways and he saw a ram tied by his horns to a bush, pointing prophetically to the sacrifice of Jesus. So Jesus takes the place that's supposed to be for the man. So when Jesus came to this world, he is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. And when he's taken to the cross, he is representing that ram back on Genesis when Isaac and Abraham was in the Sinai. The, uh, the lamb is a sheep when he is very young, very youth. The ram, it's a male sheep when he is mature. The one that is capable to protect the, the rest of the flock. Jesus is that. It's like that. He is the one that can protect. That can face all the struggles and defeat the church. So... From the, 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 the body of the ram, this instrument was made back in, in the time of the Bible and is still like that today. With the, the, the death of the ram, we see that the church has this role to blow the shofar, to announce the solemn announcements to the world and to proclaim that Jesus will come. Jesus will return. This is a exclusive role for the church, from the church. We cannot expect the world to do that. We have to assume, to take that position, to be used by God. And this process of preparation of the shofar it's exactly what happened to us. It needs to be taken to the fire. And the fire talks about what? The Holy Spirit. So every servant of the Lord, from the children, adolescents, youth, adults, even single or married, man, woman, we all need to go through this process. A process of purification, cleanliness. A process, that, a process that takes away anything that doesn't belong to the kingdom. So as a man and woman that is called, so everything that doesn't please God needs to be taken off. All the things of this world, all the bad things that we bring naturally from the world needs to go out.
They should be eliminated. For any debris that stays inside the horn, it will cause trouble. It will block and will modify the sound that will come out. The, the, the musicians that plays a wind instrument, they know how, how, how important it is to, to keep it clean, to compromise, to not compromise the sound of the instrument. That's why the servants of God from the last time the workers of the last time that are being called and being prepared for this moment, the ones that will receive the same salary as for the one that was called in the beginning of the church. The salary, the payment is the same. The price is one. The commitment from God with the church for the ones that will be announcing is the same price that we will receive at the last time. That's why we as a church of the last, last moment, we are considered the workers of the last moment from the parable. And some people reasonably might think, oh, this is not fair. Imagine you're doing a, a restoration in your house. You are your boss. You are owner of business. The, 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 the time of work starts at 6. We have a worker that starts at 9, 10 o'clock and stop to have lunch, 2, 3, and then at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Then you decide to call two more to help. Can you imagine? And then you go on the street and call two more others and two more to work, and then, then it's 5. But at the end of the day, you come with us uh, uh, wages, and it's you, 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 and everyone receives the same amount. Rationally, this is not fair. But the Word of God, the project of God, cannot be understand uh, by reason, by science, by reason. If you look with their eyes, you're not going to understand. That's why the project of God needs to be absorbed within the Holy Spirit. That's why the Word of God is it's alive. The Holy Spirit, it's producing life, and that life reach out our hearts and minds, so we understand. And that's why we are considered the workers of the last time. The same salary that Peter, John, the heroes of faith, even Steve, since the beginning, Stephen, now we're going to receive, we are going to the same place that they are, and we're going to receive the same payment. Imagine the, our brothers and sisters that went to, to the places to be killed by lions, bears. Imagine, they would throw in the arenas as a crew spectacle. And look at their faith and look at our faith. As for God, look through our hearts. We are going to the same place. And what we want is to be with the Lord. But for that, in order to do that, we need to blow the trumpet. The sound needs to go out. But for that, we cannot have anything of this world within us. The price is a high price. And it should be the same as from the, the, the hero faith from the Bible. Because if the faith was different, if it has something from man, from this world, it's not a, a, a genuine faith. It's a faith in mankind, not from God. That's why Lord, the Lord is calling us at this moment. Blow the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. 
as for the church has this role, this responsibility to transmit the salvation through Jesus Christ. So that's why God keeps working in every heart, cleaning, delivering the bad costumes. This process cannot be ceasing. And that's why sometimes you look to yourself and say, I cannot handle it. The trial is great. The, the heat is too much. The, the proof. But the heat is important because it talks about the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit in our lives. Otherwise, we're not going to be approved. And otherwise, you're going to sound differently. And this sound will not produce the purpose. The, the right command for the people of God. And now, at the last moment, the church has a mission to blow the trumpet in Zion. Zion is another name for Jerusalem. Is this environment that we live in. It's a place called Holy Place. My Holy Mountain. Here is where God manifests, manifests Himself. Here He operates he heals us. He brings us health. And within this place called Zion, the faithful church, here is where the Holy Spirit is being poured out. The trumpet needs to soar here, needs to sound here, but the sound is being heard outside. As for our life, our spiritual life needs to reflect outside. Here, we sound, but it reflects there. And it needs to be a sound that can be echoing. Because the, the shout for the church is this. We need to play the trumpet boldly until the second come of Jesus, the return of Jesus. And this is the mission of the church. It's a great mission. It's a long mission. Some are here 20, 30 years. We have a mission, we have a call. And we cannot at the last moment give up. For we have to fulfill the shift, our spiritual shift, our call to, to operate the work of the Holy Spirit among ourselves. The Lord the God always count on everyone, not on one man only. The ones, the heralds, they will feel. But it's with them that the Lord is continuously operating His work. And the Lord counts with them. The, the, the work of the Holy Spirit is not ours. It's from God. The church is from God. Jesus was the one that paid the price. Praise the Lord for that. Because if He was a man, everything was, was not be like the way that it is. And Jesus, he made a commitment to the Father because just like that, he could be fulfilling. And we can rest assured in the Lord that the work of the Holy Spirit belongs to the Lord. And our call is only to blow the horn and the, the shofars are being played. When the children sing, the, the trumpet is, is played. When a child stand up and they play bless this, bless that, bless the pastors, the family. That is the moment that the trumpet is being blown. When you see a baptism on the water, the trumpet is being played. During the service, during the whole service, when you are at your work giving a testimony of a faithful servant, redeemed by the blood of Jesus, you are blowing the trumpet. You are announcing that Jesus will come back. And the ones that are playing for you, they are looking for you, they will understand. Because when someone plays the trumpet, the Holy Spirit operates. The soul of man, even far from God, they listen, and they understand because we are connected to God. And in Jesus, we are connected to eternity. That's why our role, our call, 
is to blow the trumpet in Zion. And this sound cannot be stopped because it has a purpose. And this purpose is to announce, to let, let, let people know all the mankind that there is a solution for all the problems. There is escape. There is an exit. And this is salvation in Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless us all and that word can talk to our hearts and minds and allow us to be understanding our call to serve the Lord. Let's sing a song. I invite the church to stand up. Let's have a word of glorification to the Lord. Lord, we bless you. We glorify you. For you have been good for our lives. And we know that soon we will see you face to face. You will take us away from this world, from the afflictions. And we will live forever with you. We bless you for soon this day will come. In the name of Jesus, amen. The Lord has given a gift of the Holy Spirit that shows a man that tonight he is having an opportunity of salvation in Jesus Christ. Him that in the past he had an experience with the Lord, but his experience, like it's gone, it was ignored. But tonight, the Lord is giving him a new opportunity. Take that. Take advantage of that. While we wait for Jesus to come, while the trumpet is being blown, you have an opportunity. But when Jesus comes, when that time has passed, it will be too late. And tonight the Lord is giving you a new chance. Take that. Embrace this opportunity. Do not ignore this embrace of the Lord. The Lord has shown also in another vision everything that we mentioned. It was seen a trumpet being blown. And the sound of this trumpet was a long sound. 
and it, it stayed steady for very long. And some people will be unaware, but it, there was a group of people that was staying still, listening and looking up, and they noticed the glory of God. While many are playing the trumpets, some are listening and following, and the work of, the, of God is being processed. Independent of our will, the work of the Holy Spirit will go. The project from the Holy Spirit, whatever is established from eternity, it will happen. Our concern should be, Lord, do not let me fall down. Do not let me come back. Do not let me ignore the call. I don't want to be static, O oh Lord, spiritually. I want to be doing my role as a servant of the Lord. Let's pray, closing the service. Lord God, receive every prayer that was made. Receive our glorifications. And our plea is renew our lives. Our request is remove all the tiredness, all the concerns all the doubts, anything that doesn't glorify your name and prepare your people, prepare your service, your, your servants, your church to live with you forever. Allow us, O oh Lord, to be part of your glory so we can be part of Jerusalem, the spiritual Jerusalem, so we can value these moments in your presence. Take us in peace, preserve us in the name of Jesus. In your name we say, may the grace, the wonderful grace of our Savior Jesus Christ, the love of Father, our eternal Father, the sweet and tender consolations of the Holy Spirit can be poured out upon all of us, now and forever. Amen. The church may be seated. If anyone needs a prayer, we are here at your service and we announced that our next encounter will be Thursday the service at 8 p.m. as an orientation of the Holy Spirit we're gonna transfer our Sunday school so we're gonna have a special Sunday school with this topic the the month of the dedication so from, from this weekend and up, we are going to be chronologically with them in one accord. So later on, we're going to come back to the normal, regular Sunday school. We don't want to like, uh, lose anything. So Thursday, we need to call the, ch uh, the children, the intermediates, to be here as we're going to have the Sunday School class in this Thursday. And we're going to see how we're going to do with our logistics for our seminar. There's a group of people trying to cancel it, but let's see what we're going to do. Later on, we're going to have some meetings to manage all this. I say to you all, peace of the Lord.